Razorback Off Road is, is just a company that you know we, we have us we, we're fueled by this passion of being on the outdoors and and having you know pretty much essentially a, a sweet toy. You know we like to take all of our stuff out there. We want everyone to have a good time and we want to have all of the, the correct cargo. You know just in case something happens and. Um, a lot of us, you know, out of the Idaho region area, we, we do a lot of hunting, so we are going on those expedition trips. And we got to carry a lot of cargo, just you know, just in case something happens. So uh, that was, and these machines never have a lot of cargo space, so that's what we needed, and that's you know, that's the brand. That's how we came out with our our Razorback Off Road uh, expedition axe and need of our accessories. So. The nice thing about what we wanted to do is that we wanted to make sure that everything, all of our cargo was secure. Um, so we, we had invented these, this latch here that has two holes. You can actually put like a lock in there. So when you put it on a trailer, you're not worried about everything. You know, if you get to a hotel and you're not worried about all your cargo getting stolen out of it, you got a padlock on it. Or if you're out on the you know, trail and you want to go out for a hike. Um, we have then our cheap pin handle. So all you do is just pull that and it lifts up. We've got our 40 pound gas strut. That pulls it up open. It helps, you know, kind of with that weight when you got a spare tire on there. Those can get heavy. You're not lifting and pulling. Um, we have our spare tire mounted to this one. Um, as you can see, that's a, an RBO design. We have our these are mounted onto our It Fits uh, mounting plates, uh, which will fit our spare tire mounts, our tool mounts, and our Rotopack uh, fuel mounts, like we have here. Uh, these are just twist knobs here. Um, so they just twist on with the plate. They got two backing plates that come together and, and keep this thing secure. Um, so and then the top rack. The nice thing about our top rack, which we know when we want to put you know a cooler or you know some storage boxes or a bag or um, you know what have it in your cargo, you want to strap it down. So we we cut out these these points here for bungee straps or. Um, you know, some motorcycle straps will fit in there as well. You can also, you know, wrap your stuff around here and keep everything on the inside. And, um, come down here, you got some strap strap locations as well. So, Implement it to where everything is secure and not, you know, you're not worried about when you're driving out looking behind you, making sure everything's not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about that with our rack system. So, yeah. And then I see you have this here that cuts down on the heat. Yeah. Comes yeah. up from the yeah, back. This is a, uh, you know, we're we're pretty proud of this this one. It's a. Uh, a Rough Rider heat shield. So the back of the machines here, they get really, really hot, and this thing cools it off. You know, to around the temperature. You know, of outside, it, it saves the coolers, ice. It saves your dogs if you're taking them out on the trail rides. Um, it's just, it's a great product. You know, and, they, and the dogs really like it because it's padded. It's comfy back there. So. Yeah. Um, and then all this, uh, like your fuel packs and your shovel and your spare tire, is that all like uh, a la carte? Like different accessories you buy to to bowl Yeah. On? Yeah, so the, the rotor pack mounts, tool mounts, and the spare tire, those are just add-ons that, um, you know, kind of fit, you know, each person. They Not not a lot of people need a tool, so they, you know, buy extra rotor packs. They can mount them onto the back, and not, a, not everyone carries a spare tire mount because they've got, you know, either the slime or, you know, they have their buddy take it on their, on their machine. So, um, you know, these are kind of add-ons to kind of fit people that want what they need. How about as far as, like, weight? Um, you know the machines only rated for so much and then you're putting all this on you know realistically how much more can you put into it after you put all this on because you know you got your spare tire you got fuel you got this you got your rack and you know the framework itself I mean yeah so our top baskets are rated about 60 pounds and then our side frames are rated for 30 pounds along with the tailgate as well um, so that it kind of evenly you know distributes all this weight up there um, you can you know, when you add our rack system on there, just bare as it is, it adds about uh, 45 to 50 pounds um, to the machine. You can adjust your suspension, which we always recommend, just to help with the load um, throughout the machine. So that's one thing you can do. A lot of people, they kind of just left it the same, and they say they don't feel any change. So it's it's you know preferably if you want to make you know have a you know safe travels, we obviously recommend you know adjusting your suspension and and, and stuff like that. So. So what all do you make for the See, this time it's on a Can-Am. Yeah, so so this one's our Can-Am um, Expedition Rack uh, for the Maverick Trail. Um, if it's the RC, the Rock Crawler Edition. Uh, we also do the, uh, for the Expedition Style Rack like this, just for the Razor 1000s, 900s, the 870s, um, and the, the eight, or the 800 and 570s, excuse yeah. me. But uh, 
So those are the expedition types, but we also build uh, different types of routes for like, we just released one for the Turbo S. Um, we build for Tracker, Off-Road, the Rangers, the Generals, um, CF Moto, has, we have a rack for that as well. So, um, you know, kind of you'll have to check it out on the, on the website and, and see which one, uh, you know, fits best for, for your needs. You know, the Expedition Racks for the guys that go out for the, you know, extended day trips, you know, and got to have a lot of cargo, the spare tire mount. Um, and then you got, you know, some of the utility stuff like the Ranger Rack is more for the geared up for the farmer and, and, and the guys that, you know, use them around the ranch side. So, yeah. um, Do you make anything for like a Can-Am Defender? Uh, we do not make anything for the Defender at the moment. Uh, like I said, we're just getting into the Can-Ams. Yeah. Um, so we do plan on, you know, sitting the Commanders, the Defenders, the, um, you know, the X3. The X3 is our new machine that, that we want to go out and, and get because we know that Everyone in the you know around the UTV industry is, is seeing the big buzz feed about the Maverick yeah. X3. So yeah. that's one of our next targets. Um, nice thing about this one here, though, it'll fit like the trail, the sport. Yeah, it'll fit the trail, sport. Um, only the two-seater editions. Uh, the four-seaters, uh, we're, we're still working on some stuff for that. But uh, just the two-seater trail, sport. Um, the the raw color edition, you know, it, it fits those. And with the Polaris Razors, uh, it, it'll fit, you know. Any of the four seaters, the two seaters, uh, any of those editions, um, as long as they're just uh, the XP 1000s or, or uh, the 1000 machines or 900s. So, yeah. all right. So our uh, we got a front and back windshield. Um, our back windshield's great. Uh, if you want to want to go out front, I can kind of show you. It's a sliding sliding glass window, uh, DOT uh, laminated glass um, for you. So it's not you know it's scratch resistant. It's just like your car too. Um, if something was to happen and get chipped, you know, we do have replacement glass, we can replace it for you. Um, and then we are also, too, I'm going to take a look around here, we're also the only back window in the industry to have a cargo uh, you know, kind of box that sits there for your, you can put your belts back there. Um, right now you see our water and cards back there, you can, you know, your belt, you know, certain things back there, your gloves and stuff, so you have that extra space, uh, which we always need, so. And then What's uh what's something like that retail for for just the, the rack itself and then you know without all the add-ons and accessories? It you know it kind of all depends on the, the models, generals, rangers, razors, the expedition rack type. Um, so it kind of it kind of fluctuates, but like I said, between 800 to a thousand bucks here is what you're looking into on one of our racks. And then how about the uh, the add-ons like for the spare tire and are they those yeah those are those range from about um, you know from about seventy dollars to about one hundred and thirty-five to one hundred forty-five dollars um, okay. depending on the amount. What's that mat retail for? Or is it ninety-nine ninety-nine? Oh, so about hundred bucks. You can order online. Um, we have dealers. We have over 100 dealers throughout the country. Um, we can definitely check in. You know, if you want to give us a call or shoot us an email and find out who your local dealer, maybe your local dealer has it in stock. You know, they you can go in there and pick it up for them. So uh, either you know, we got a couple options to get get our products out.